All right, man. Um, salute to everybody in the chat. Everybody watching, man. And um, let's talk about <clears throat> Derek James. He did an interview. He did one with Fight Hub. He did one with Fight Hype. And talking about um, Terrence Crawford, okay? Um, to me, it sounded like a lot of sarcasm after this comment he made. Obviously, he knew he was going to get asked a question. Interviews was kind of – interviewers were kind of on their toes because – um, of the Marcos Viegos thing where he kind of seemed like he was about to bomb on Marcos Viegos reading up to the Ugas fight when they kept asking him about uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, okay? Seemed like he wanted to bomb on him. Real talk. If people know the interview I'm talking about, when they kind of, he kind of, it was this two part interview where he switched the scenery. But, you know, one of the first things he said that was serious, he said that basically, you know, he, you know, Terrence Crawford think he's going to do all that moving. You know, you're gonna you're not gonna move versus Earl Smith. You're gonna do what Earl Smith tell you to do in that ring. And you know, a lot of people thought that you know Triple G would have had a tough time cutting the ring off on Canelo Alvarez, but he did. And I think it was the counter punch, counter punching ability. You know, I think it was because of his counter punching ability and all of that type of stuff. So, um, you know. And I think that's what made him hesitant. But Triple G moved around the ring like nobody knew he could. And Triple G is known. I mean, Canelo is known for having lead feet, excuse me. And he moved around Triple G like it was nothing, you know. And Triple G, to my, I never been hurt. Well, to me, you took the safe way out. You you didn't really go all the way in on Canelo because he was touching you. And counter punch, you make everything hurt because it's a, it's a, you know, a lot of times they punches that you can't brace for, you don't see coming. But he said that Terrence Crawford not going to be able to do all that moving versus Earl Spence. He's going to do what Earl Spence, you know, say he's going to fight with, you know, where Earl Spence say fight. He said basically Earl Spence is going to control the, disguise, the uh, geography of the fight. And he might be right. I'm not here to dispute what he's saying, you know, because it's actually sound like a technical, clear headed point. The sound don't sound like that trolling that they be doing or nothing like that. So I, I get it. I'm not mad at it, and he might be right. But the good thing about it, Terrence Crawford don't have to move. That's the great thing about it. Terrence Crawford can sit there. If he was, oh, you sit there with those spins, you Ooh, got sat there and didn't move his head. You could stand in front of Earl, you know, Floyd Mayweather. They wouldn't tell you to stand in, stand in front of a number of opponents that he stood for. Did he make some mistakes in there with Shane Mosley and Zab Judah? But he righted the storm and woke him up, and he turned up. He stand right in front of his opponents. Stand right in front of Canelo and, 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 and did what he supposed to do. So, you know, it ain't the worst thing to stand in front, you know, but you got to know what you're doing, bro. You can't sit in, you can't sit in the pocket like Ugas and look to land one haymaker punch and look to land one punch when you really ain't no puncher. You know, Terrence Crawford can sit there and fight with that man. He can sit there in the pocket. I wouldn't recommend it. They'd be getting Earl Smith the, the, the advantage, but the thing about sitting right in front of him or sitting there in, in there, you know, you're just going to move. You're going to catch. You're going to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, Earl Smith, they talking about how fundamental he is and Tim Duncan, like, they ain't that fundamental to me because he make a lot of mistakes. He squares up. That's why he got hurt versus Ugas because he gave Ugas a full target. You can't give to my like Terrence Crawford no full target. So he could talk about, well, he's going to fight with, well, I've seen the Sean Porter fight, and we might can agree Sean Porter probably the best athlete in the welterweight division. I'm not going to dispute that. But he didn't control where the fight was at with Sean Porter. That's the thing about me. He big, he strong, and all that type of stuff. But I said this, I keep saying this. When he had Sean Porter dead to rights in closed corners, on the ropes, on the turnbuckle, wherever it was at, he let Sean Porter slide up out of there. Excuse me. He let Sean slide up out of there. Why do you let Sean slide up out of there? Because he don't know how to fight on the inside. I keep telling people that. At least in that fight, he didn't show it. When you got somebody on the ropes like that, bro, you can't be standing straight up, bro. Mainly, anytime you get closer, you you make your target smaller, and you and you get in and you, you got to get in there. You got to pin Sean Porter on the ropes if it's grabbing his arm, beating him up with the free arm. Go watch Andre Ward beat up Alan Green. Textbooks, uh, modern day textbook ass whooping. But he might be right. Terrence Crawford, man, you know, he's he not doing your movement. You know, he's still, he ain't going to win for Hill Spence. You know, Hill Spence, you know, he played with Hill Spence, he ain't play that. We're going to have to show him. Terrence Crawford hard-headed. 
you're gonna have to show them but um you know but then it was a couple you know before the sean porter fight people saw sean porter might get him sean porter might get him but ain't moving no more at 46. but might be getting old but not using his leg say the same thing about floyd when he fought marcos madonna he getting old he ain't moving like he used to move and what floyd get out there and do was that the uh, miguel cotto fight floyd got out there and showed you that them old legs they got it he can still move terence crawford is you know adjusting his style and his body is, is always, he's a full-fledged welterweight he's adjusting his style he's that's what he's doing he's adjusting his style so he don't have to move as much in the sean porter fight he did move he just moved when he got to move but it but historically he didn't really move all that much he used to move you know a lightweight he moved a little bit versus sean he moved a lot versus victor postal but that was the height of him moving was fighting victor postal and people say, oh he ran that fight this that and the third man dropped the shit out of postal that lets you know what type of puncher he is he moving he's still dropping guys so they got a prep look and then Eric Crawford, Karen Crawford, Crawford got some issues to deal with Earl Spence. Um, but they got a, a prep full of in, uh, issues to deal with, with Terrence Crawford. He can move, he can punch on the move, he can punch on platform, he can grow into the weight class. You know what I'm saying? Like he was dropping hurting postal, all you know, jumping in and out, not even fully playing. So he he's a real puncher. He's a real puncher. That's crazy. He's a real puncher. He able to generate power without even planning. Crazy, right? But he might be right. Earl might just cut the ring on, off on him, and he might have to fight Earl fight. You never know. You know, but to me, Sean Porter didn't have to do that. You know? You know, he didn't. John Porter did what he wanted to do. Earl Spence couldn't control him with the jab. That's the key to beating Earl Spence, a lot of people think. That's the key to beating Earl Spence is controlling this. When you control this, take the jab away from him, that's it. That's it. That's it. You know, that's the number one thing about it. But, but I mean, we we have to see. But he said that when he said that uh, he said that Terrence Crawford is a uh, is a good fighter. He's a tough fight, you know. You know, but I I think that was sarcasm. That was sarcasm because after he, after he made that comment, you know what he said. <laughs> He does this system, you know, he's just let to do it. You know, he's very fast, you know, very athletic. Um, 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 you know, um, you know, he's very athletic. And, 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 you know, um, it's athleticism. So he, so it's, it's a backhanded compliment. It's a backhanded compliment. A lot of times you might not know what, you know, certain slang or certain words mean, you know, but context clues put you in, you know, Contest clues put you in the position to learn to, to kind of know what that what he really saying. And when he said that comment, so he's a good, you know, good fighter. Mm -mm. You know, mm -mm. you know, he's a tough fighter. You know, his athleticism, his speed is gonna be tough to deal with. That's a backhanded compliment. That's you, that's a backhanded compliment. I don't even know if I can call it sarcasm, bro. That's a backhanded compliment. That's exactly what he did. He just gave him a backhand. He basically saying he Roy Jones. How he be dissing Roy Jones? How you know Roy Jones ain't you know? You know he just athletic. He didn't have no skill. He didn't have no IQ. That's what he said about Terrence Crawford. You know, you know he just you know athleticism. You know he just we get FD. You know and that's what he's saying. He saying he ain't respecting his skill set, bro. He ain't respect. That's what that's what he's saying behind the scenes. He probably respecting it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we all know what Terrence Crawford brings to the table. How are you gonna say he predicated on athleticism 
you know, but your fighter ain't as skilled to him. Now, it might not matter. People talking about well, Crawford got more tools in the bank. Crawford do this. Crawford got that. Sometimes you only need one tool to get the job done. Sometimes you just need your axe to chop down that tree, or you just need that saw to break that tree down. Other times you 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 might need that uh you might need that machine, that little grinder you throw the, the branches in there too. You might need two, you might need two uh, uh tools. You never know. But sometimes you only need, you know, uh, 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 one tool to get the job done. Don't forget it. Sometimes you might need only one tool to get the job done. So, you know, don't sleep on that. People say, oh, you got me and Chavez brought, Chavez, you know, brought the same style. Sometimes he modifies some things, but it was a handful to deal with regardless. It was a handful to deal with regardless. So don't forget it. Everybody can say this style, that style, that style is the best. This style is this. Sometimes you need one tool to get the job done, bro. You might make some little adjustments or little variations here or there or whatever it may be. But sometimes you only need your hammer. Sometimes you only need your bear claws, your hands. Sometimes that's all you need. So I ain't really pressed about all oh, who, who would be more skillful, this, that, and the third. He can say what he want to say, but that was a backhanded compliment. He basically said that they don't uh they don't respect his skills and he only an athlete and that's all he predicated and also you know in that other interview at db ugas he basically said that they basically waited terence crawford out for him to get old he said he basically that's what he said but i'm just looking at him i'm just saying like i would like, be different if he had somebody like mayweather you know somebody like panero whitaker you know what i'm saying somebody like uh you know, I don't even somebody like I don't know somebody today with with good skill set, Devin Haney, you know somebody like Shakur Stevenson, like he got Earl Spence. It ain't like his fighter more skilled than Terence Crawford. He just don't have no athleticism for real. He's a good athlete, but ain't nothing like, you know, like super superior. But he that's another backhanded compliment. I keep telling y'all, he gonna keep you know he gonna keep them backhanded compliments. And all of it, it's not out of out of gamesmanship. It's not out of showmanship to build a fight all it is in me is awesome is out of, out of worry out of fear that's what it is to me it's out of him we worry it's out of fear that's what it's about he gonna see he gonna see it ain't you know he gonna see they said sean porter was not skill right remember that he, he's a great athlete and all that type of stuff that great athlete that football player gave Earl Spence, all he wanted his son. He did give Terrence Crawford all he wanted his son. He did. He did. But all that was is a backhanded compliment, bro. It's exactly what it was. He's a good athlete, you know? That's it. He's a tough fighter, man. No. All that, all that. They don't plan on fighting him. And we're going to get to that video next. I, I mean, or down the line. Maybe a video after this. I ain't going to hold y'all up, bro. That was a backhanded compliment. You know, he's, a, he's, he's a tough fighter. You know, um, great athlete. Good athleticism. Not a good jab. And all these man, them niggas ain't about to fight. So he can, he can talk like he can talk. He can talk all tough with a really nice head on Australia Compton. He said, all that tough talk. This ain't no rap record. <laughs> You see no rap rap, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, you can say what he want to say and all, all that stuff, man. And he's a, he's good athleticism, you know. He's a great, you know, he's a great fighter. He's a good, great athleticism, and, you know, you know, you know, not a great jab, not a great hook, not a great uppercut, a good combination, a good finisher, none of that shit, you know. Was your Terrence Crawford giving Errol Spence? His, 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 you know, his flower. You know, he's the fighter, you know. But all that shit is is out of fear. That's all it is. Is out of fear. And then he also said that uh about you know Danny Garcia. Well, forget Danny Garcia about it. Terrence Crawford fight Jamil Charlo. We could get pissed those pissed for us. It's not gonna happen. So you know, yeah, I agree with it. It's not gonna happen because the fight not gonna happen. But we are gonna tee that video up a little early, a little later. Um, but let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the world to wait. Boxing playlist, the boxing playlist. You can find both interviews 
the interview I was speaking on was on Fight Hype. They got another one on Fight Hub. Uh, because he Frank Martin is fighting this weekend. He's fighting uh, Jackson Marinas, late replacement. I think he had two other opponents fall out, Ricardo Nunez, and he said somebody else fell out. So uh Ray Vargas, Mike Mayaxo fighting on Showtime. If anybody does care, um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, crease your chance, get notifications, we go live and drop the video. Financially you want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good313, Memo CJ Good313, PayPal link in the description. Um, also on my link tree, you can find the first link in the description. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, uh, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, Spotify, Anchor, the whole nine. It's a couple other ones you can listen to. Uh, the podcast will be up in a couple hours, and the majority of them is probably already on Spotify. It's probably already on Google Podcast. But it's all free to listen, man. Rate me on there, follow me on there. Uh, you can listen to the audio without having the YouTube screen and YouTube ads, and uh, and I'd be able to monetize on there. But I appreciate you, girls and guys. Um, also, if you're tired of using the stream, you are your content thread and want to use something greater and a little bit cheaper or a little bit bigger and better, a lot bigger and better, uh, hit my uh, melon uh, link. It's the last link in the comments uh, section. I mean, in the uh, description, hit the melon link. You can literally, uh, you know, start today. They, they basically, their middle plan is $15. They got a free plan. And they bigger and big plan is $49 a month, but I don't really use that. But it got more than streaming yard. It's better than streaming yard. More options. Uh, all the whole nine. So appreciate the love support. One time for one time. Peace.